Hi, I'm Andy Rowley from Bud Shirt Makers in Piccadilly Arcade, and I'm going to give you four tips on silk ties and the inner story on what you should look for when purchasing and looking after a tie. My first tip is when you look at a tie, it should be cut what we call on the bias. If it's cut not correctly, when you wear the tie, it will twist round. The way you can tell if it's cut correctly, if you lay the tie flat and then pull it just gently, if the tie pulls straight without any creases going across it, then it's cut correctly on the bias. My second tip is if you feel the weight of the tie, if the balance of the lining and the silk is round about equal, then the tie will hang and will be correctly made. The reason this is important is if you tie the knot and the interlining is too heavy and the silk is too thin, the knot will bag and it will look rather like a school tie used to. My third tip for a tie is you should always look at the shape of the tie. It should be three and a half inches in width and the side of the tie should be perfectly straight. It means that it's of a classic cut and then you will always be in style but not necessarily in fashion. My fourth tip is when you've worn the tie and you get to the end of your day, it's very tempting to take the tie off and just throw it on one side, but silk is a living natural fabric. So if when you take your tie off, you just gently roll it in your hand, like such, and then if you put it in a drawer, when you next go to wear it, the heat from your body will mean all the creases that are in from the knot will not be there when you come to wear it next time.